forget mistakes forget failures forget everything except what you are going to do right now and do it today is your lucky day with the above quote we would begin today's session as the topic the power of resilience annotates it good morning respected director adil sir deputy director tg sir principal jodi ma'am our guest of the day mrs jamshi nasruddin distinguished guest my dear friends and my dear students on behalf of the abram fraternity i do welcome you all to the second edition of alumni conversations outreach through experience alumni conversations outreach through experience had its first program by dr shamir vk assistant professor department of general medicine on positives of covid 19 as the name suggests more than the usual speeches they are friendly talks and interactive sessions by alumni these conversations arouse strength mental and physical courage and above all an asset to improve in various fields of presentations by alumni alumni are the brand ambassadors and they can create ripples in an institution these types of events are all opportunities for you to gain and grow both in your academic and personal life i invite miss amina pe head of the department of english to welcome the gathering when we learn how to become resilient we learn how to embrace the beautiful broad spectrum of the human experience a warm good morning to each one of you present here the abram always embraces its uniqueness by keeping pace with changes by positively adapting and transforming to address long term changes to connect with we have invited one of our alumni mrs jamshi nasruddin to speak and interact on the power of resilience our resource person mrs jamshi nasruddin is a faculty of biology at jams modern academy dubai on behalf of the abram fraternity with much pleasure i would like to welcome you ma'am to the session i would like to welcome uh, our dynamic education our director adil sir to the session our deputy director tg sir dear principal jodi ma'am all the teachers and my dear students i welcome you all to the interactive and informative session on the power of resilience thank you all thank you amina the topic for the day the power of resilience is a need of the art mrs jamshi nasruddin a smart and vibrant personality an alumnus of dayabram is working as pgt gems modern academy dubai so let us all pay attention on how to be resilient and the efficacy of resilience from our alumnus mrs jamshi welcome to your alma mater mrs jamshi over to you thank you so much and what is beginning you know and uh, i felt i really felt overwhelmed and i didn't mean that much but truly speaking end the yabrutvarod korcha samayam samsarikya nalla mathra irunnu and when adil sir asked me to have a conversation with the students definitely i do accept with that thought deep inside my heart uh, to speak with my dayabram students with, to be back to my dayabram and i could be more happy if 
and they abrupt one that if i could deliver a session if i could meet everyone that gives another immense pleasure but unfortunately today i'm joining you online definitely once i'll be back in the abram courtyard again so let's start uh, a warm welcome and a very good morning to each and everyone uh, to my respected teachers still i think my teachers may be there i have been there um, in 2002 2004 batch and i worked as a teacher over there for one year and it was such a pleasure back to the abram because the abram is uh, it, it's a it's a feeling actually uh, it's not merely an educational institution beyond that namku kitana a feel back to the abram from i just I had a conversation with adil sir yesterday said back to the abram is such a lovely feeling and with that introduction may I just begin it's not an expert talk i'm just having a talk with you children and the kids also and the dehabra also the court is amazing and that gives me a pleasure and it's it's a pleasure for me and i know today is such a buzz in the school because you know it's first i came to know it's the first day your first year back to the school after a long break right so i think that's another opportunity for me because you're so excited and let's begin i'm just going to share a picture let's begin children and here i'm going to share a picture okay and hope everybody is carrying a notebook i requested sir with a pen also so may i request what comes to your mind just one word only one word i know your mind is so excited today a lot of things will be there uh, what what one word which comes to your mind by looking at this picture take a minute look at this picture just closely look at this picture and what thoughts comes to your mind what comes to your mind just one word only only one word one word see the words are so powerful can i get one volunteer from there who can just go around and get me at least five responses different responses what they wrote i would like to know what all words come up over there what are the thoughts which are there in your mind today morning so can i can i get one volunteer hmm come on who is the volunteer i don't want the teachers to insist to point someone else but please come up to anyone who is ready is there anyone ready over there just go around get me just a random sample get me uh, a few words look around five words at least i can see somebody is coming up wow uh, is it somebody is coming or a teacher is looking over there absolutely i'm so happy please share your name let me know who is this just go around and have a look at your friends notebook what word comes in their mind first can i get at least two or three anyone i think who some, somebody who is sitting in front itself can come forward have a look at children what your friends wrote please turn around and have a look what your friends wrote what is there in your mind just one word somebody is coming you don't feel formal at all i am one among you i am one among the dayab right still now so don't feel formal at all be comfortable and i want to talk to you with the com- yeah my name is azra i am from class 8p lovely to hear from you azra yes and by looking at this picture i felt a feeling of loneliness it was it felt scary being there all alone and it was like seeing yourself as if in, you are in a movie as mm-hmm. uh, right it felt deeply like lonely and scary for some reason that uh-huh. as azra could you please just have a look at in those who are sitting in front and on the side also what word they wrote uh should i ask them yeah just you can look at their book please help azra i can't hear i can't like, i don't understand what you just said i'm not audible 
Oh, you are. It's just muffled. I can't understand it. Okay, just just have a look at what your friends wrote in the notebook. I ask everyone to write one word in their notebook, right? Which okay. comes to their mind after looking at this picture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I like. Ma'am, my name is Sainara. Yes, Sainara. I just feel scared seeing this. Mm hmm. Why everybody is having this scary feeling? Okay. Uh, any other? Any other thought? Anyone? Any other thought is there? Uh, any other? Hmm. Alone. Alone. You're feeling alone in this path. I think I chose a wrong picture there. <laughs> okay, let, let me get uh, all your thoughts. Alone. Um, it's a path actually, right? It's a journey actually. It's a travel. It could be to any, uh, anything. Any random responses. My name is Adil. This picture reminds me of a bridge. Obviously, obviously, it is a bridge over there to travel, to go through. Right, Adil? Yes. Thank you, Azra. Thank you, Sainora. Thank you, Adil. And thank you, teachers, for taking the responses. And uh, yes, this may be, if you're alone in this journey, it shows a journey towards somewhere going alone, scary, as Azra told, as Sainora told. So it can be a trip, it can be a journey towards an unknown destination, right? Uh, so I'm, I would like to introduce a term for your children. So I don't know, there may be a lot of students are sitting there, you might have written a lot of uh, words over there. I just culminated, uh, see, maybe some of this make, might have come over there. Uh, some of them told feeling alone in this journey. We don't have to, obviously, feeling alone is scary. I would like to introduce a term for you now, Cody Womble. Write in your notebook. This is something, you know, Cody Womble. Have you heard about Cody Womble? Anybody? Anybody? Have you heard about Cody Womble? Any idea? Cody Womble means to travel in a purposeful manner to a vague destination. Travel in a purposeful manner towards a vague destination. That's what the picture shows. And obviously, if we are alone in this travel, we will really feel scared. And a lot of, we all are in a journey, right? Towards, we don't know, yet unknown destination. Uh, but it should be purposeful travel. It should be a purposeful journey. Uh, so we have to be purposeful in this journey. A lot of excitement will be there. Happiness will be there, joy, little sorrows, and you know, sometimes obstacles will come. And there comes a role. We have to overcome. We have to overcome and thrive about all these obstacles. And that's our topic for the day. Grit. I'm going to speak about grit. And I think it's it will be just a vague idea for you. And that's why I choose even the, this picture. It is not clear, right? We don't know what is grit. Anybody having any idea about a grit in the life? We have to face a lot of challenges. And, you know, this is not something new or strange. Don't think that uh, either every day, nothing like that. This is not something quite new or strange. Grit is something within you, children, within you, you all. There's a power within you. So that's what I'm going to speak today. I would like to choose one example which I think you all will be able to connect with so easily. examples That's more better, right? So I'm just going to choose one example, which we all over, like, which we were being through for the past years. Have you ever, never ever, it comes in my dreams or thought that schools are going to shut down? No, no chance, right? We never expected that. But it happened. It happened. And what all things happened. Now, this is not a, merely a Google picture, which I choose from his news channel. Only you can see there, right? So yes, it happened. And we there a lot of trouble, a lot of chaos, struggles, but we overcome, we thrive. That's how we are. you are here today, sitting in your school, your school, you are being seated today and you thrived and overcome all these obstacles and struggles, right, children? And it is possible for anyone. I'm just going to play video. This happened for the past two years.
wow. And that's how for any problem, if you're feeling scary also for any problem, there is always a hope, children. There is always a hope. And even life will bring us challenges we have to face. Success will be there, of course, obviously. But we have to face failures also, right? So it's not merely success. Success and failures and challenges, that's life. But we always have a feeling that, you know, whatever happened, it's all because of the talent. Is it only talent which matters? And we always say, wow, such a talented boy. Wow, she is amazing. So talented. We always say all these things, right? So is that only talent is the secret behind the success? I know definitely there will be good athlete or a dancer or a singer maybe there sitting in this group. Could you please come up, child? Could you please come up? The good athlete or whoever it is. Or a singer or a dancer. Just share, is it only the talent behind the success or, or what element is required? Which element is required? Anybody is there? Somebody is coming up. Who is a good athlete over there? And who is a good dancer or singer? Okay, I'm not making you embarrassed. Uh, so it's not merely, obviously society has a feeling that it's all about the talent. It's not merely the talent. It's not merely the talent. There is something, some one important element is there. And it's talent and effort. So talent, with all your efforts, if you put together all these things, then, then comes the achievement. And here we are going to dig deep into the grit element. Dig deep into the grit element. Let's see. And this is being defined by the psychologist, Angela Duckworth. Angela Duckworth was basically, she was a mathematics teacher, okay? And who else can connect with the student rather than a teacher, right? The teacher knows a child of a, very deeply. So she was a mathematics teacher. And later she observed that some of her students, it's not merely the talent who's, which is going to do the success of any child, but she observed that there is something else which is going to seriously going to affect the success of any child. And that is Angela Duckworth. And she argues that talent and intelligence, it matter less to success than grit. So what we require is a grit. Grit is actually a personality trait behind perseverance, hard work, and goal setting. So grit is actually a personality trait. That's what I told you children, it is within you. It's within you, the power within you. So the personality trait behind the perseverance, hard work, and goal setting. So what is that personality trait? It's combining the perseverance and passion. It combines perseverance and passion. And I will clearly describe what is a perseverance and passion. Mrs. Angela Duckworth, she clearly described that. If I'm asking you what is a passion, you all will say that you will have something. But see the next slide and think about your passion. Perseverance and passion. Perseverance means having resilience. And that's what we are going to, to talk today. That's, that's a talk all about the power of resilience. It's the ability to overcome setbacks, work hard and finish things rather than giving up. That's what we have done. You have done for the past two years. You didn't give up for that many, even we cannot call it as a living organism. We know viruses are not living organisms, right? So, but the, that one, they will be active only once when it enters inside a host body. So they are not even living organs, but the whole world become under the control and it entirely changed the life and enter the whole world, right? But we didn't give up. We thrived, we work hard, we find out different platforms, like a lot of uh, online platforms we come up with and we improved ourselves, right? So that's perseverance. It's the ability to overcome the setbacks and passion combines with passion. Passion means its ability to adhere to a goal over a long term and maintain your interest level as opposed to changing your goal mid It's not merely don't change your goal depending, depending upon the circumstances, but it's maintaining that, sticking to that interest level to keep your goal for a long term. That's a passion. So if you have both these two, perseverance and passion, believe me, children, you are the superheroes.
you are the superheroes so have these two potential perseverance and passion no one else can beat you and we have to discuss why kids need it what is the importance of grit in education obviously grit is actually the predictor of academic success it is a predictor of academic success so we have to we should know how do we build grit in kids honestly speaking there is no answer how to build grit in kids there is no answer but what we all know is to cultivate a want to mindset rather than having a have to mindset so cultivate a want to mindset versus a have to mindset rather than compelling and being compelled by someone if you will be able to create a want to mindset yes children you achieved and let's see how can we have a look at this slide for two minutes i need someone to come over a volunteer to come over here and just describe what you are able to identify or understand from this slide the difference between a fixed mindset and growth mindset let me see who is having growth mindset over there please have a look we'll give you two minutes you are going to observe please read carefully who is ready to come up who is having that growth mindset so let it be wrong i will help you let it be wrong whatever it is it's all about having that mindset to come forward who is that one or many is there anybody raise your hand ask your teacher ma'am i want to share it's all over there in the slide you just need to come up and speak any volunteer i'm not putting trouble on azra or sanora or adil anyone else anyone else come on what is the use of the session then if you are not ready to have that growth mindset come on children anybody is willing mhm mm okay somebody is joining or shall i continue excuse me yes 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 repeat it so that it will be clear for them sorry will you please repeat the same Oh, all right all right see they can see the slide so i just want someone to come up to discuss or, or to differentiate between these two mindsets it's all details are given there to differentiate between the fixed mindset and growth mindset who is having that growth mindset please see the slide and note the differences between fixed mindset and growth mindset uh, ma'am i'm not uh, i'm not audible i'm not clear yes ma'am it is clear all right students you may uh, raise up in your place 
the mic will be provided so that you can share your views on the slide that you have. Seen. No, I'm just asking them to give the difference between the fixed. I will give another activity. Okay, then. So, children, please, a fixed mindset means we will be having a fixed mindset. Oh, my intelligence, my personality, it's all completely locked. It's all determined by birth itself. My potential is determined by birth itself. It won't change. Somebody will have those feelings. Right. It's all completely, completely determined by birth itself and it's not going to change. It's static. That is fixed mindset. But we have to change it to a growth mindset. We have to say my true potential is unknown. It's completely unknown. Even, you know, when I was a student over there, I was not aware. And through experiences, we, we will not know our true potential. So you have to find out, keep on learning, keep on adding and make use of all the opportunities. So that is a fixed mindset. So, so that is a growth mindset. So if you have the fixed mindset, they will try to avoid failure. But those who have the growth mindset, they desire to, to continue learning. Whatever uh, the incomfort or whatever challenges they do have, they always embrace challenges. They always embrace the failures also and will be considering it as a stepping stone for the next success. So here I'm just giving you, I think these are something usual, very usual words which comes up from the school. I'm not good at this. I give up. It's too hard to solve these problems. Can you change this into a growth mindset uh, statement, like any growth mindset in your notebook? Change these three statements into growth mindset, mindset statement. Instead of saying, I'm not good at this. Instead of saying, I give up. Or it's too hard to solve these problems. Can you just change it into a different style, like to ready to change or ready to embrace a challenge? Children, please respond. Then only it will be an interactive session. They are writing in the notebook, I think, ma'am. Right? Write in your notebook what comes, like how can you change this? I'm not good at this. If anybody is voluntarily ready, uh, I'm most happy to listen from you. How can you change this mindset? Instead of saying, I give up or I'm not good at this. How can you change this statement to growth mindset, mindset one? Is there anybody ready to come forward? Let me call Azra again. Sorry, Azra. I came to know your name, Sainora's name and others' name only. Can, you call, can I call Azra again? Azra may be thinking, oh my God, why I have gave the answer at the beginning. Do you want to or else I don't want to trouble you? Okay? How can you change these statements? Any one, at least any one statement. Choose one statement and let me know. I can just change it to into a growth mindset one. Hi, ma'am. Nice. Azra is there? Yes. Thank you, Azra. Lovely to hear from you back again. Yeah. So uh, how can you change your mindset? I mean, it is hard. You can't just do it like in an instant, like just snapping. It is very hard. I love how I'm contradicting what I just said. Uh, but yeah. How can but, you but, but we can keep trying, right? I'm just asking not to change the mindset. How can you change the statement? We always say if uh, the teacher is giving a math problem, it's too hard to solve the problem. Instead of saying that, how can you change the statement? Yeah, changing it is easy. It's just like you have to set your mind to it. But setting your mind is where it becomes hard. You have to actually do it, you know. Uh, so it is everyone's, uh, what do I say, capability on how they should be like it is them i guess it is you who finally matters it is you who sets everything absolutely it is you who finally matters so rather than having a mindset that i'm not going to change at all i it's all determined by birth i just came from this particular background and i'm going to be like that only uh, is that good enough or do we need to take time? It will take time. It's not all of a sudden. It's not instant. It takes a lot of time and a lot of experience need to be added. Reading, travel, uh, conversation with the adults, adult people. So a lot of experiences to be added and gradual change. It's not all. It's like a metamorphosis of butterfly, right? From the caterpillar to the butterfly. So it's not an instant change at all. And it's quite impossible. But there is nothing impossible. Believe me, uh, just... Azra, do you believe that that mindset is good 
I am me. I'm not going to change. I just came from this background, so it's all determined by birth. See, nobody can for force you into it either. It's just something that comes out of your mind. It is something that comes from your insights. And uh, if you have passion towards something, it is definite that it will come out. Okay. It, yes. 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 Uh, nobody can force. Even I cannot force now anybody uh, to yeah, come up yeah. and give the answer also. But sorry, Azra, I just forced you. I could say somebody was standing behind Azra. Was that to share the answer? Um, I don't think so. But yeah, ma'am, thank you. That's all. All right. Thank you. But uh, uh, can you, Azra, can you change one statement statement from this? Okay. Yeah. I'm not good at this. Uh, I can, no worries, but I will help you, definitely. I can be great at this. I can do, um, I am good at this. You can actually, like, you know, it's manifestation, I guess. I am good at this. And finally, you will be. It's definitely manifestation. It, yes. It is. So yes. make sure that decides. Very good. See, instead of saying, I'm not good at this, you can say, I can't do this, but yet I will try. Instead of saying I give up, you can say, I'll say another way of doing this. Instead of doing this executively, like exclusively like this way, but I can try another way. So a lot of ways are there. Rather than putting out a lot of negative comments, uh, it's always good to choose some other way of doing and never quit trying children. Never quit trying. I'll just show you one example. And since Azra shared that it is what you desired yourself and no one else can force you, of course, I do believe and I do agree with you, Azra. And just, I will just share one example of a fault, okay? So uh, after this, so these are the mindsets to influence the grit. I can succeed at this. My ability and competence grow with effort. Children, it definitely it grows with effort. So put your effort put your effort i know there'll be a lot of people sitting so quietly silent do you know children i was such a quiet child during my school days so silent in the class uh, very quiet child and i know definitely there may be somebody who's sitting so quiet so silent but we can't imagine the potential inside you children please identify the potential inside you it will take time uh, all of a sudden it's not going to happen overnight it will definitely take time and please improve, put all your effort, my ability and competence to grow your effort. Okay? Challenge is inevitable for success. Obviously, a lot of challenges will be there, obstacles will be there. And this work is in line with your interest, values, or goals. And finally, this is what the story which I would like to share, as Azra told, um, that it's not possible we are weak, right? And ultimately, it is you who decide who you are. Have you heard about the rose that grew from the concrete? The rose that grew from the concrete. It was a poem by Supak Shakur. I'll just share it with you, children. that grew from the concrete had damaged petals. On the contrary, we would all celebrate its tenacity. We would all love its will to reach the sun. Well, we are the roses. This is the concrete. These are my damaged petals. Ask me why. Ask me how. And this is the poem. Who can read the poem? Who can read the poem? Please hand over the mic, ma'am. And to anybody. I would like to listen from you, children. Please read the poem. Anyone? Please come forward. Anyone? Anyone of you? Just read. Just to read the poem. Just to read the poem. This is a poem by Tupak Shakur. Please come forward. Okay, I, I can understand it's the first day. Uh, so they will take time. Uh, children, but do take your own time and 
I think this session will definitely help you to overcome all the obstacles and even whatever hindrance is there in your mind also. So this was a poem. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's laws wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, but by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from the concrete when no one else ever cared. See, for the nature, there is always a nature's law, right? There are certain conditions are required for the rose to grow. And, uh, but this rose, it proves that nature's law is wrong. It was Tupac Shakur. It was, it was actually reflecting his life. He came from a Jato uh, Islam area and always society has certain guidelines, right? As I heard from you now, uh, sorry, Azra, I'm always taking your name, uh, that it's not, no, we are what we are, right? Uh, and society always feel that there is a, society has a guidelines that uh, it is going to accepting or expecting certain uh, greatness from some, some part of the world, or it has certain guidelines for all the greatness. But believe me, children, prove yourself that you can overcome any hardships and you can do anything and everything which somebody is saying that you cannot, you can do. But only thing which you need to do is keep trying, keep trying. And I, I would like to touch the inner heart of everybody who's sitting there, those who are keeping so quiet, so quiet, the silent ones, especially. And children, uh, there may be cracks. There may be cracks. Consider these cracks as your opportunity. And make use of all the opportunity. And the school life is giving all the opportunity. And I know how the Abram is extending all the opportunities for the students. It's not merely bookish knowledge, but giving all the experiences for the students. Do make use of all the opportunities. Make use of all the crack in your life. And please come up nicely bloom as this rose. And this is a poem by Tupac Shakur. So what do you all need to do is focus on your passion. A little bit of discovery is required. Definitely give a pat on your back. Identify, discover your passion. And followed by a lot of development is required. And then a lifetime of deepening. It has to be deepened. It's never ending, never ever. Lifetime deepening is required. And it's always to have a team approach. It's always good to have a team approach. And by seeing the picture which I showed at the beginning, you told that you feel scary, you feel alone. Definitely loneliness is scary. Have a team approach. When we are feeling, you know, when we are having setbacks, when we're feeling scared, it's always good to have somebody to who is there to pick you up, who is there to tell you you'll be okay. So have a team approach always. And this will definitely help you. And believe me, children, you are stronger than what you think. I would like to share a video with you, which was a bit old, word, but I really love this video. So I want to share this with you, children. Once upon a time, in a land where trouble ruled, a little girl searched for hope, for life, for school. With just her school bag on her back, she ran towards the river, but she could hear them all around her. What pain would they deliver? Her heart pounded faster than she knew she'd have to fight. So she grabbed a ruler from her bag and she fought with all the might. The first spirit beat her. The first battle had been won. But she could hear the clouds building. Her feet back on the soil, the path was open wide. She 
bridge it to the open door and quickly rush inside. The chapter completed, her journey now won. But the story isn't over. In fact, it's just begun. And we do. Though it may be the end of the session, but it's going to begin now, children. Believe me, children, you are stronger than what you believe. You are stronger than what you believe. Identify your potential. And is there anybody who can sing a Malayalam poem for me? Can you learn something from Vailopilli, Shri Vailopilli, Karni Koyit? Are they learning? So here I'm sharing. If somebody can read this, is there anyone to read this now? Let me see who is having that inner potential to power. I'm just going to end my session with this. Are you going to say that? കവിതയായി ചൊല്ലണ്ട ജസ്റ്റ് വായിച്ചാൽ മതി ഇത് ശ്രീ വൈലോപ്പിള്ളിയുടെ കന്നിക്കോയ്ത്ത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ കവിതയെന്ന് എടുത്തിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് നിർദ്ധയം മെതിച്ച് വിളവുണ്മാൻ മൃത്യുവിൻ മേഘും ജീവിതം പോലും വിത്തൊരുത്തിരി വെക്കുന്നു വീണ്ടും പത്തിരട്ടിയായി പൊൻ വിളയിപ്പാൻ നമ്മള് ഒരുത്തിരി വിത്ത് എപ്പോഴും എടുത്ത് ബാക്കി വെക്കും പത്തിരട്ടിയായി പിന്നെയും പൊന്ന് വിളയിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി and children you are the seed and that seed with a lot of potential that seed with a lot of potential which is going to be you know for the next generation for the next future which is going to be ningalana ningalana ningala so believe in yourself and the last line which is the most favorite for me ha vijigishu mrithuvin namo jeevithathin kodi padandaitan and we all fought right for the past two years such a long fight and we proved that no one can beat us and by this i would really happy to share all my thanks to the abram fraternity uh, for giving me this opportunity to interact with my children uh, with my the abram tukar and thank you adil sir for contacting me and i would like children if you can please refer this book angela duckworth grit the power of passion and perseverance read a lot add to your experiences and i have a link also i thought of sharing this with you this will help you to measure your grit this is actually uh, to share to measure the grit scale okay i will i would definitely share it with your school authority uh, if they will share you by any means you can check please check your grit identify yourself believe in yourself and with this i would like to say a big thank you from the deep of my heart thank you so much over to you teachers thank you jamshi ma'am what you told us absolutely true because of team approach i think you are here as the resource person hope you will agree with me absolutely so uh, you might have seen that uh, rose which has grown from a concrete like tiny seeds with potent power to push through tough ground and become mighty trees we hold innate reserves of unimaginable strength then we can tell that we are resilient once again thank you ma'am thank you everyone thank you once again i was not aware jodi ma'am was there uh, a special wish and thanks for all my teachers over there and i don't know what the cities are is there the man behind or the power behind uh so keeping everyone in deep in my heart thank you so much thank you